Hi, my name is Josue Batista. I am a business and technology strategist. Welcome to the segment of What and Why First. This is the second of two segments on the topic of why organizations fail at becoming more innovative and what you, as an innovation leader, can do about it. In my previous video, I explained the top five reasons why innovation fails. Now, let's examine what you can do to be innovative with higher chances for success. Tip number one, follow the innovation process. I encourage you to establish a basic process for innovation, consisting of ideation, capturing the ideas, followed by incubation, turning ideas into something you can take to market, and then applying the acceleration process. That is, taking your incubated idea and conducting a formal rollout of products and services at a larger scale. Having a process gives you the chance to measure progress and make adjustments along the way. Tip number two, learn to innovate with limited resources. If you have limited resources, search out across the organization for like-minded people. Start small. Get together for the occasional lunch and learn or seminar. Take a few field trips to events related to innovation. Reach out to your network for advice. The idea here is to start building up that kind of connective tissue around the innovative process. Sooner or later, you will identify an opportunity and you will be ready to take advantage of it. Tip number three, don't fight your current ecosystem. Leverage it. The best approach is to carve out a small team that will figure out what ideation opportunities could look like. And then, as you go through the process of incubation and acceleration, you will selectively and strategically pull pieces of existing business and put them under that innovation team. By doing that, you are leveraging the strengths of your current business model while building a better innovative framework for the future. Tip number four, diversity of thought is the fuel of innovation. Never underestimate the power of diversity in a team. You can accomplish more with people that are not identical to one another. You will have higher chances of coming with innovative ideas when you have a diversity of backgrounds, experiences, genders, ethnicities, first languages, and many other wonderful characteristics that make each one of us unique. Tip number five, be innovative and innovation will follow. I encourage you to learn more about the innovation process. There is a whole body of knowledge about how to innovate effectively within a corporation at a scale. For example, use business architecture to better understand your ecosystem. Leverage Alex Osterwalder's Business Model Canvas. And for a crash course on innovation, I recommend learning from Eric Rice, The Lean Startup, and Peter Thiel's Zero to One. I hope you now have a better understanding of what you can do as an innovation leader to set a path for success in your organization. Finally, how can I help you? If you think I can help you, please email me at josue at whatandwhyfirst.com. I read every email. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>